Uprising! Or maybe better than that. Uh, temple Guard. Yeah, the Temple Guard's not gonna help me much, but we're gonna need some cards to play round one. So, maybe these two... Oh shit! This guy's running Uprising! Oh my god! Uh, so... Yeah, play my Peasant. Hell yeah! I don't know, maybe we're gonna save some points here. And what do you think about the current state of the game? I'm not sure if I'm super qualified to answer that. I wish it changed more. I wish the game changed more. I'm not super concerned about balance <laughs> at this point. I just want things to change. What? I demand satisfaction now. I look at it a little differently because you might hear opinions that, oh yeah, the faction balance is okay. I'm like, okay, like I don't care too much about that. For me, the most important part uh, is that can I play fun decks? Are the top meta decks fun? Because it's it's kind of pointless if if you have to play uh, boring decks just to have a chance. And Gwen can be especially guilty of just feeling like math because you just look at the game and like, oh yeah, I know exactly how I have to play my cards, and you play it like that, and you win. So I like decks that. For example, the uh, the red deck. I fucking love that because you have to play completely differently. That's amazing. Nice. It changed a lot since beta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like these days, I, I suppose they're doing okay. But I still still wish they change more. Most. Most importantly, we just have a lot of cards that are trash. The, the traps are trash. They're, they're archetypes that are trash. And uh, oftentimes when you see a faction, you know which deck you're gonna see, because everyone in that faction is just playing the best deck. Not even the best deck, maybe, maybe the biggest criticism I have, I actually saw this on the, the Reddit a time back, that you don't build a deck with the bronzes anymore. You don't. You don't build a deck because round three it's all about the golds. It's always about the golds. It, it's a it's a golds game. You're just trying to win with the golds and you don't have too much of an identity when it comes to your deck. You just play the best golds and that's it. That's how you play the game. I usually don't try to think too hard about it, because I, I just come up with ideas, then get sad that the ideas are not in the game. I missed that third row. <laughs> yeah. I suppose they only removed it uh, just for the sake of... Uh, uh, look at that. that. That's a round three hand right there. I suppose they only removed it just for mobile, or... What do you guys think about the third row removal? With hindsight. Now that we see the difference, would you rather have the third row? I I kind of think that it didn't change that much, but it was better to have the third row. The, the most obvious thing that I, 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 I miss is that row effects used to be more powerful, because it was easier to... because when, when, once, yeah, you had three rows, so if one row was blocked, you could just even have a like powerful effect that dropped all units on the row to one power. And that was really powerful, obviously. But because you had two other rows, that effect was uh, acceptable. 
that, that was fine. I wouldn't say that was fine, but like, yeah, that that effect was in the game and could be in the game. But now with two rows, that's just not a thing. Vedder, for a long time, suffered so hard. It is nothing but a deal two damage on deal two damage. Yeah, like that's basically frost and and fog. So Vedder is, is struggling to find its place in the new uh, two row system. I, and by struggling to find its place, I mean that dead, dead on arrival and completely ignored since then. Wow, he's running a totally different deck. That's not what I expected. I think it was so nice to have that third row with effects, weather, etc. Those were exciting games. Yeah, exactly. I like the big, powerful... I want something that has like a big swing. I know that seems big swing and it's also not random. Big swing and not random. That's what I fucking love. Like, for example... Okay, this is not a great example, but like... Okay, you see this guy. This is not random. You put it on the board and he just goes up. This is a kind of a boring card, but like... It, it is a okay example in that regard that it's a very powerful in in a certain scenario like this is kind of what I like and not just I actually don't even put in like necessarily the the boring cards but like you have like se seven for five that's it I'm like okay sure boring card don't like it uh what am I doing here? So we're gonna draw either Kira Mats or Nanaki. Uh, we should somehow try to line up for that. Do I just go Vinham Vatra? Maybe we go Corvo. Corvo first. Critical thinking. A sign of a healthy mind. All right, let's go like that. You got it right. I miss old Grant when the Earthguard has uh, alchemy, spies, mill, soldiers, reveal, a lot of good archetypes. Every game was different. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how they're gonna fix it though. Because it seems like they're committed. I'm not even sure if they want to fix it. Uh, now they released the battle pass. Seems like they mostly consider Grant a game that's, that's okay. They don't want to make any big changes. And I, I can't really fault them for it because in the past they were crazy. They were completely insane with the changes at times. Of course, close beta was like, holy shit, that was like crack. They just like keep changing everything all the time. I fucking love that. But, and not even talking about that, but like taking an eight months break just to completely overhaul the game. Of course, not necessarily for the better, but like it was, it was still an insane change. An insane commitment. Like every single other game that did anything even remotely similar, uh, in my knowledge, just died. But Gwen didn't. Uh, made logical sense on the card types too. Uh, there doesn't seem like enough changes to make me want to get back into Gwen. Oh shit. That, but does that matter? God. Not play this guy in the first row. I know that. I think is he might igni me.
Keep this guy. Effects were good for the aspect uh, uh, esport factor as well. It was good to watch those games. Yeah, I fucking love Igni. I love. Okay, here, here we go. I love the change they made to Igni recently that you have to play it first in the round because previously it was a little bullshit. When, when the enemy players set up your entire board for like 40 points burn baby burn and like okay and you can do nothing about it a lot of decks just cannot do anything about it and you can just say like oh yeah i'm gonna completely change my deck which is kind of the right call but at the same time it's a little lame and many times you just didn't have too much to do about it because if if your opponent just had a lot of pings then that, that's just game over i like this I, I think this is a great change and i want these cards to just come back into the game in a big way. So I'm really happy with that change. Down with Amir. Can he kill this? I don't think he can. But also I might as well just boost this guy. Get one of those. It was good to watch those games when Game King just won with one point because he managed to better the weather, for example. It was uh, exciting to watch because of the math side. Yeah. I want to see big, powerful, situational. That's the most fun. Oh no. Well, the, the pink guy is gonna actually. We're saving him. Oh, look at that! He is a peasant. But this guy doesn't understand how to play... How to play this deck. I mean, he kind of understands how to play his deck, but like... He's playing a boring version. I just killed that because it's gonna ping my Windhelm of Atre. Considering, I should have played uh, the right of Anna Stranger. Okay, that seems good. Grand player base. I don't know, man. It seems like Gwent is not a game that uh, gets followed as passionately as other card games and that's a damn shame because at times I do get bored of Gwent and I think that's normal that's that's truly no fault of Gwent because I get bored of so many things and uh, Gwent can only take credit that despite so many things really struggling to uh, grab my interest Gwent kinda has me coming back Okay, let's go Prince Dennis. Actually, let's just go uh, Mata Hari. This dance you will never forget. But it's struggling to be very mainstream. And I'm not sure why. They definitely changed the game a lot. I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Do hey, Kuit! At another cone line. Yeah, that is correct. And I'm in quarantine. Are they releasing Humbers? What the hell is that? Last I remember, it was uh, speculations mostly. What the hell is a Humber? Okay. 
Okay. Let's keep some charges for Prince Anseas. It seems like he can't kill me. <laughs> they will try. I think card games as a whole are getting much attention these days. Hey, or not. Uh, the auto battlers uh, definitely took away some uh, some players. M mainly, I think people are just not too keen to spend their time unlocking stuff. That's just my theory. I could be just totally wrong, but... You stand before royal majesty. Every other... Even, even games that come out as fully free to play are struggling to, to establish themselves, are very much struggling. Like, basically, these days, a game has to be free to play and fucking awesome and and maybe only have cosmetics and be backed by a big studio. And that's it. Let's just see how much we smashed this guy. 104. Oh my god, almost double amount of points. Yeah. It's it's safe to say that I had the better deck. But uh valiant effort, uh Grizzly Bear man. GG.